Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making another ginkgo leaf uh, tray, only this time, this time we're going to be using mixed mold. So, last time we made it in resin, this time it's mixed mold, so we can see what it looks like in both. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dusting it in my Merry Dancers Chameleon Powder from Alexis. Of course, links for everything that I'm using are in the description box. This uh, particular mold came from Beauty Craft. And I've got to tell you, I love the way that it came out in resin, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out in mixed mold. So I'm giving it a liberal coating of Mary Dancers because sometimes the uh, eco resin powders or whatever you want to call them. Um, don't pick up all of the uh, mica powders that you use. Any powders, mica powders, pick a powder, any powder. So that's why I want to be a bit more liberal with it to make sure that what it does pick up gets picked up well. Let me see, right? Be going down into the little lip here. I'm not going for full coverage, just enough. Alright, so now we've got that. Over here, I have two scoops of mixed mold bran. So uh, two of the scoops that came in the, the bag of mixed them all. Gonna add some water until it gets to be the consistency that I'm looking for, which is sort of a, a loose pancake batter or crepe. That's crepe batter. We have some extra powder in there, so I'm just going to distribute that a little, a little bit. Things you don't really notice until after the fact. Blend and blend and blend. Blending is a secret. Name that movie. One of my favorite movies.
Okay. So that is that. We are going to let this sit and cure. Should take about half an hour or so. Doesn't take long. Just going to give it one more little clippity boo. Just in case we have any more bubbles that want to hang out in there. So see you guys when it's time to get it out. Side note, you don't realize how effective noise canceling headphones are um, until you take them out. <laughs> I have these little daters right here. Um, made by Tozo. The Try to give you the specs on them, but it's kind of hard to do. Anyway, put a link for them in the description box. Got them on Amazon. Really, really reasonably priced, and they work beautifully. So, anyway, enough of that squirrel. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is a stamp, a uh, soap stamp, oddly enough, that I use to put marks in things. Uh, it's a phoenix. I got it from Tima, I think. Anyway, Tima or BB Craft, one of the two. So I use it sometimes to mark pieces that I do. Uh, so I just put it on there. Anyway, let's do more of this, shall we? <laughs> I'm interested to see how it turned out. Um, And of course, with all eco resin uh, projects, you have to be very careful with them when they're newborns, as you do with all the newborns. But uh, eco resin projects when they're newborns do tend to be still a bit uh, fragile. So I want to make sure that I do not. Compromise the fragility. I do want to be very careful. Getting that out. Because I would like to not snap it off. That would be ideal. Just this is just nerve wracking for me. Last little little bit. Alright, so here's the back. Really smooth, really pretty. Like it. So one, two, three. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's ten times prettier in person than it is on camera, but it is just lovely. I do enjoy that sheen that the chameleon powder gave it. I like that a lot. Let's see if I get you a little closer. That is gorgeous. All right, so lovely trinket tray. I am going to let it sit and uh, finish curing now that it's out of the mold. Let it uh, dry up, if you will. And then I can sand and seal the back. Because I have a feeling this is going to go in my bathroom. So pretty, so pretty, so smooth, just smooth. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Look 
I want to see on dark background. Yes. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, again, links for everything are going to be in the description box. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.